I, I'll just share my uh, presentation. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Rajesh Dudu. I lead this at uh, Tech Mahindra. Today, I'll be talking about media value in the, in the post uh, COVID world. Uh, so, in terms of the ongoing pandemic, there are no theatrical releases that are uh, happening, and many, many releases, uh, movie releases in different parts of the world have moved over to internet, and they have moved over to you know various other. Uh, it doesn't come as a surprise that the industry lost uh, thirty billion dollars in the year 2020 alone, primarily owing to the log. And it is a staggering 70% uh, plus loss compared to previous, uh, previous year. So given this kind of uh, uh, scenario, major disruptions that are being observed in the global media and entertainment industry, uh, one is in terms of even before the pandemic, there has been a significant uh, shift in the way people consume uh, media. There have been, uh, you know, uh, on rise of uh, binge watching and there has been shift to the uh, medium like uh, Netflix, like Hulu, Prime Video, so on and so forth. So the OTT providers have been gaining significantly compared, compared to, to the, the theaters or compared to the television broadcasters. And with this uh, uh, advent, there is also a growing threat of intellectual property rights uh, violation and uh, privacy. Advent of OTT platforms make things a lot more uh, difficult. There's mushrooming of many channels. And sometimes the content also moves from one particular channel or one particular OTT platform to an another. Uh, but that uh, movement cannot be prevented or preempted. But what needs to be taken care of are the underlying uh, IPR uh, rules and also the IPR protection. And we also know that uh, there, there is a concept of uh, geo blocking uh, and the contractual provisions with uh, the various uh, broadcasters ask for uh, geo blocking to be enforced that means uh, once the content is licensed to a particular uh, broadcaster or it is licensed to a particular ott platform in a particular geography it cannot appear on any other ott platform in the same geography uh, if there are infringement of those uh, provisions the uh, the impact is significantly high and the damages are uh, very, 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 very high. So the geo blocking emerged as a new challenge for a lot of media and entertainment uh, companies. And added to that, there has been a significant uh, decline in the revenues. So uh, while these major uh, disruptions were observed, uh, what still remains important and what still remains paramount is a content tracking uh protection and payments uh which are very very important uh for uh, business continuity as a result of which we need to look for next generation solutions which which will help uh, the media and entertainment companies to overcome the challenges so can blockchain help uh, in our understanding, yes, the blockchain can help the media industry primarily to write the new normal, especially in the COVID as well as the post-COVID world, because of the inherent uh, benefits that uh, blockchain brings uh, to the media and entertainment companies. Apart from enhanced security, it provides uh, immutability and provenance a real time view of data and most important is the improved uh, transparency so let's see how it is going to uh, how this is going to going to help 
uh, with regards to the mushrooming of the OTT platforms and with regards to the shift in the media consumption, I mentioned that uh, digital rights management system becomes very, very important as a result. Uh, as, and it is not just having a digital rights management system, but it also having a system that is equipped with features like uh, geofencing, with features like uh, IPR management, which kind of prevents cross-pollination of uh, content and also the sneaking of the content into various geographies and into various uh, various channels. And we know that blockchain uh, brings in an inherent capability, which is the one-way hash function using uh, secured hash algorithm or any other uh, or algorithms of that particular nature. And when you do the forensic watermarking, and when you enable the forensic watermarking with uh, the hash functions, it will result in a very good track and trace capability and which will also help to identify the original content from the fake content. It will also help to differentiate the original content from the, uh, from the fake uh, content. In addition to that, given the innate nature of blockchain to facilitate uh, micro transactions and micro payments, uh, that particular innate feature of blockchain can be leveraged where micro payments can be enabled for digital artists. So in essence, uh, we believe that media companies leveraging the blockchain adequately will be in a better situation to grow 10x in the next three to five years. So uh, is there in any other technology that can provide uh, benefits that a blockchain can provide to the media and uh, uh, to media and entertainment companies the answer is no because uh, in terms of given the wide nature of the benefits there is no other technology that comes closer to uh, closer to blockchain uh, you know media and entertainment companies have multitude of systems if i talk about the systems they have a content management system they have an affiliate management system. They have a conditional access uh, system and various other systems. But the problem with these systems is they are very, very siloed. And the data from one system does not move to the other system in a seamless fashion. As a result of which, there is, uh, there is no exchange of information. And that lack of exchange of information in a seamless fashion brings in many, many challenges for media and entertainment companies. So that presents an opportunity for blockchain implementation, where blockchain can be implemented as a trusted middleware that uh, links all these operating systems in a media and entertainment company, aggregates the information from these systems and presents it as a single source of truth, as a result of which, because of the lack of information, there is uh, uh, people do not end up violating on their contractual obligations. So the benefits are multitude, whether it is automating the contracts, facilitating transparency in royalty payments, lowering the transaction costs, addressing the fake news, reducing the copyright in infringement, and so on and so forth. There are many, many benefits that uh, blockchain can provide or can endo to the players in the media and entertainment uh, industry. So let's see in terms of how does it cut across the value chain within the uh, within within the media industry, uh, primarily from a content value chain perspective. So the opportunities are there in royalties, where it can, where blockchain based platform can enable near real time micro payments. The opportunities are in contract management, whether it pertains to digital media resale or whether it pertains to automating contract creation. Opportunities are in digital advertising with respect to audience data sharing, ad campaign reconciliation reporting, and more important, most important, from a rights management perspective, where it facilitates record keeping 
from uh, from a on a universal basis and most important in a trusted and a immutable fashion so uh, what is it going to lead to it is going to lead to uh, uh, provenance with respect to the ownership of digital assets it will lead to enhanced licensing and monetization it will lead to increased efficiency in audience data sharing re reducing the time spent in reconciling the campaign data so there are many 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 benefits that are uh, that are there from there are many many benefits that are there from integrating or from localizing or from internalizing uh, blockchain in the day-to-day uh, -day operations for a media and entertainment company. So let's see in terms of uh, what the players are doing in the industry. I, I, I've been able to collate some examples here. There are uh, both large players as well as small players who have started this particular journey with uh, blockchain and then they only intend to enhance their adoption whether whether it is in the ongoing pandemic or the post covid world so if, if we have good examples from comcast disney in 20 as early as 2018 comcast has uh, announced a blockchain insights platform with uh, nbc uh, covering channels like disney channel 4 and the others primarily from an uh, from a perspective of uh, sharing the sharing i mean primarily from a perspective of uh, establishing the authenticity of the viewership establishing the authenticity of uh, audience without sharing uh, data so and what has it resulted in it has resulted in um, focused advertising a better planning and an ability to reach the target audience the intended target audience we've seen this with respect to spotify which has come up with a media chain uh, primarily to work on developing uh, next generation technology which with an aim of connecting artists and the other right holders uh, you know uh, who are who who own a particular music track or who are the rightful holders of the music uh, music track and it will help to a uh, identify it will help to establish the ownership uh, which which becomes very very easy on the service that is hosted on uh, on the spotify's media chain and there are examples from people like uh, prs sacom and uh, ascap these are the royalty collection agencies which have built a blockchain network primarily to manage uh, music copyright or the information pertaining to the music copyrights. So uh, there are leading industry platforms like blockchain-based contracts and rights management system. It is consider it as a platform uh, which, which is a single, uh, I mean, one source or a, uh, which provides a single window kind of a, an approach and which caters to all the aspects that are important from a day-to-day -day operation in media and entertainment industry, whether it pertains to contracts, the rights management, track and trace, and royalty payments. Based on my experience, there's not much of digitization that has happened in media and entertainment industry. You will have many, many production houses which still maintain their contracts, either in the Word documents or the PDF documents, and they are contained in the inboxes or in the folders of some key people in that particular entity. And uh, the rest of the people in the organization do not have access to these contracts and important provisions pertaining to geo-blocking or important provisions pertaining to royalty uh, royalties or payments are contained in this particular contracts. So there is no mechanism to harness the information that is contained in these contracts and facilitate easy access to that particular information to different user groups within the organization. And I've also seen uh, with respect to royalty payments, there no, uh, there's not much of automation. Many, many royalty payments are still managed on uh, Excel and there is no exchange of uh, information 
between the various parties who provide inputs into those royalty payments. And same is the case with the rights management or with track entries. So the BCRMS platform is a one platform which addresses all these aspects. It starts with digitization of the contracts and uh, it not only facilitates the digitization of the contracts, but, uh, but extraction of uh, the key contractual provisions and conversion of those key contractual provisions into smart contracts, which can be used across the organization. And they provide very good inputs to the royalty calculations on an automated uh, fashion and also tracking the uh, tracking the digital rights management in an easy fashion. That's what the platform platform does. And with the advent of NFTs, the non-fungible tokens, uh, and for some of those who are not initiated into the exciting world of non-fungible tokens, they're basically uh, tokens which establish the provenance of ownership of a digital file. It could be a music file, or it could be a picture, it could be, a, you know, it could be a, a video file. And what NFT does is it helps people to have the ownership on digital collectible or crypto collectible in an undisputed fashion. And what we are doing with respect to, or, or rather what we are seeing as a trend in the industry is to have these NFTs integrated into the platforms like uh, blockchain powered contracts and rights management system, the platform that I presented to you, so that it not only tracks the uh, rightful owner, but it also establishes the provenance of that particular ownership along with an associated non-fungible token. And this is being integrated into the blockchain uh, blockchain platform. So what wh what do we uh, gain to accomplish or what does the industry gain to accomplish by integrating the functionality of a non-fungible token into a blockchain uh, blockchain platform? It is to, it is from a perspective of two aspects. One is it is helping people to tokenize the IP not only helping people to tokenize ip but also to facilitate the what we call as the fractional ownership of digital assets so it is going to bring in the monetization capabilities with an underlying non fungible token for example if there is uh, if if there is a turning moment in in a particular uh, episode uh, or or in a drama series and you could take that particular turning moment and then you can mint underlying non-fungible tokens and you can uh, possibly put it up for sale in a NFT marketplace. It could be audiovisual clips of popular movies or it could be Grammy clips, Oscar clips as, uh, as uh, the underlying non-fungible tokens. And obviously, it also helps people manage the incentives uh, primarily from a perspective of the subscribers or the buyers of the movie clips or the music labels and will also help to drive royalties, especially in the context of uh, fractional uh, ownership. So in essence, uh, to sum it up, there will be multitude of opportunities in the post-COVID world. Uh, the, the key is to spot those particular opportunities based on the problems or the burning problems that are there or the problems that that have been around and which couldn't be solved through non-blockchain implementations there's an opportunity to solve those by uh, by incorporating or by internalizing blockchain and various other blockchain powered platforms in media and entertainment industry with that i will bring my presentation to an end I'm happy to take any questions that the audience may have.
if there are any questions uh, please go ahead and uh, put those questions uh, for me in the uh, chat screen i'll be i'll be happy to uh, pick them up i'm seeing some comments thanks satish thanks for your uh, kind comment Okay, I'll take this, uh, take it as uh, no questions. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, interacting with all of you on this uh, virtual platform. Uh, if you need any further information, uh, please feel free to reach out to me at my coordinates, rajesh.dudu at uh, techmahendra.com. Uh, thanks for uh, watching my presentation. Uh, Please stay safe and wish you all a great day ahead. Thank you. Bye for now.